Hey, what's going on? You got it. You got it to the channel. It's your boy Big Dial back with another one take review. Today we got one for Black Clover episode 121, which actually was a really good episode. We got everything like dying, dying from what happened during the Elf Devil arc, I guess we want to call it. And uh, yes, last episode had the big cliffhanger that Julius is still alive. And yes, it's actually him. He's 13 years old. He just so happened to find the magic item that uh, the first was a king and second left behind, which was called, I think it's called a swallowtail. They were able to store up magic and he was able to store up 13 years worth. So that's when he supposedly died. He was able to come back as a 13 year old. And he's not as strong anymore. As a matter of fact, his grimoire isn't even a grimoire anymore. It's just really one sheet of paper. Also, that show with like the star that he had on his head, that's what it, uh, that's what it meant. So, that actually made it make sense. It wasn't, it seemed like it was like shoehorn just to like not kill off a character. But one thing I didn't necessarily uh, particularly like was the fact that Van just completely get off like scot-free. Granted, he's going to be hated by a lot of people in the kingdom and a lot of this is his fault. But it seems like it completely looks like it's going to overshadow him and go straight to uh, Asta. And Asta's the person with the big problem. Not only that, we have three big issues facing the Clover Kingdom right now. Uh, that was one of them, and, and the fact that, like, since Julius is now younger, I mean, the people who he was able to, like, kind of, like, uh, talk to and kind of, like, maintain the certain, certain boundaries with to, like, keep the Clover Kingdom running a certain way, probably all their power is gone because, hey, who's trying to take orders from a 13-year-old kid? Now, those people who wanted to be more profitable, even though, like, hey, man, the... I, I, I'm going to say this. I honestly wouldn't care if the Clover Kingdom went down. Only reason I, only reason I don't want it to go down is because I, it's the king that I was probably going to end up uh, run, running as the Wizard King. But for the most part, most of the people there who aren't like commoners, or, and, and I ain't going to say peasants, but like commoners and stuff, they're pretty horrible people, man. Like, pretty, 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 pretty much piece of shit, dog. So, and that that kind of sucked, man. We also got to learn about uh, the three kingdoms that are, well, we had three problems. That was one of them. The other problem is like the, either Asta's going to die or the Clover Kingdom is going to be taken down. Simply because of the fact that they have three kingdoms around them who pretty much fit like they're praying in on their weakness right now because things have happened and things are don't seem to be going too well. And you have uh, the Diamond Kingdom. We already know the Diamond Kingdom is a uh, aggressive kingdom, and 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 they already have we've seen problems with them earlier. Then you also have uh, the Kingdom of Mystery, the Heart Kingdom. I'm pretty sure we all know what the, the, all these these like cars, clover, diamond, and space. But like the the Heart Kingdom is a kingdom of mystery. It looks great, but I'm gonna be honest. I think I, I I don't trust the Heart Kingdom one bit. Okay, you, you never trust anything that looks that good. And then you have the Spade Kingdom, which is also called the Demon Kingdom. What's crazy? I think those those people are gonna be more allies than the Heart Kingdom, and of course more than the Diamond Kingdom. That's just my opinion, cause I never trust people who just you know if it's too good to be true, nine times out of ten, it is. You know what I'm saying? And so the closest kingdom to them right now is, well, actually, they're all they're surrounded by them all, uh, which doesn't really look great for them, for the most part. Uh, and as well as, like, this war that they do, well, it's kind of, you just kind of call it a war, this elf war they just had to face, kind of, like, diminished their, uh, the Magic Knights. And so you actually saw that when uh, the, the, the king... With his uh, punk ass, I hate that guy, man. He's one of my least favorite characters. Probably my least favorite character of this whole thing. Well, uh, King Kira, I think that's his name. Uh, he got saved by Seke, who wasn't trying to save him. He was actually trying to dip out. And then he got attacked by some more people. And then we have this super cool dude comes out of nowhere. Uh, Damnation. Yeah, that's his name. I think this is his name. Let me make sure this is. Oh yeah, Damnation Kira. And now he uses like, is this like weight magic? I don't know. Is it this is scale magic? I, I have no idea. But we also find out that he's a dick as well because 
Austin has to go on trial, him and Cedric, because they are going to assume that they need somebody to put the blame on. They're trying to put it on Austin because Austin, Austin his grimoire has a devil inside it. And he exposed himself to that fairly quick when they these guys threatened to attack Marie. One, because her brother was, we already knew her brother had a criminal past, and they knew that she had some involvement and as uh, during the times of the war. Which sucks, because Asta, I didn't, like, in my opinion, did Asta have to go, Asta, Black Asta, to get there to stop that attack? And I, I get it. He probably didn't want to take the chance of them actually hitting her, but do we believe they were actually going to kill Marie. Now, they definitely could have. Definitely a possibility. It's just, I, I got a feeling they did that just to bait Asta into uh, to uh, attacking. And, and he fell right for it. Now, what's going to happen with Asta? I have no idea. Because, one, Asta's a peasant. Two, Asta has this power in him. So everything is kind of like leaning against him already. We actually even saw like once him and Sekre walked into like the uh, the the I'll give you kind of like the court. They were already discriminated against. You heard the child like the Clover Kingdom's not that it's not that great, man. It's, it's, it's honestly not that great. And, and considering the fact that Julius does not have as much pull as he used to. I think this is gonna make it that much worse. You better you, you now you go battling it from inside as well as outside the Clover Kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Granted, this has always been the case for Oscar because he always been like, you know what I'm saying, looked down upon. But this guy is pretty much the hero of this whole thing and nobody's talking about it. It's insane, bro. Like uh, I, I, I I don't know what to say. It's, it's good. It's very, very interesting. I have no telling where the story goes from here. It's just, it just sucks. It honestly sucks. It, it, it's, it, it's infuriating the way that they treat this guy who saved their asses, bro. But yeah, yeah, that's that's this week's episode. Very, very enjoyable. Very, very enjoyable. Can't wait to see how this thing turns out next week because I'm pretty sure. They had, I think there was a plan in place, and I think we just seeing what we think is going to happen. But I think Julius then was prepared for this, and they told Asta to do something. So we'll 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 probably see next week if that's the case, or if not, this is actually Asta is in some big trouble. So who knows? But uh, you guys, let me know what you thought about this week uh, episode of Black Clover. Hit that like, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching my video, and I catch up with you guys later. Peace.